At Oticon, we believe that it's important to follow best practice guidelines with regards to pediatric amplification. These guidelines recommend that for infants and children who are too young to sit still for real ear measurements, that hearing instruments should be fit and verified in the 2cc coupler. We also need to take into account the child's individual ear acoustics by measuring the real ear to coupler difference. This short video will show you how to perform coupler-based verification using the Sensei Pro hearing instrument, the Genie software, and the Interacoustics Affinity system. We'll also show you how to incorporate the RECD measurement into the hearing aid fitting. Coupler-based verification is extremely important because children are not able to tell us what they can and cannot hear. It provides a way for the audiologists to ensure that there is adequate audibility for various input levels. The first step is to retrieve the patient in NOAA, then launch Genie. Remember to enter the date of birth of the child as this will trigger age-specific defaults for the pediatric hearing instrument settings. At any time, these defaults can be changed by going into the Genie pediatric preferences. Next, connect the hearing instrument and detect it in Genie. Genie will detect the age of the child and display the default pediatric settings for that age range. If the child is 0 to 3 years old, there will also be a pop-up window alerting the clinician that ear molds are recommended for this age range. On the acoustic screen, the acoustics in Genie should be changed to match the hearing instrument acoustics. For example, if using a pediatric ear hook, ensure that the pediatric ear hook is selected from the drop-down menu. Click on the audiogram screen in Genie and ensure that the choices selected reflect what was done during the audiometry. Also, ensure that the same transducers are selected in the Affinity software. Then we go to the RECD screen. Here we can either use an age-appropriate predicted RECD or enter a previously measured RECD. Alternatively, the Easy RECD tool in Sensei Pro is another way of accounting for individual ear acoustics, especially when no measuring equipment is available. This example shows how to use previously measured RECD data, which was saved in NOAA and then transferred into Genie using the Import from NOAA button. Once the measured RECD values have been transferred into Genie, the software will recalculate the fitting and take these into account. To prepare for the coupler-based verification, attach the Sensei instrument to the 2cc coupler BTE adapter and position it in the test box as shown here. Next, launch the Affinity Suite by going back to NOAA and clicking on the Affinity logo. The Affinity Suite will launch in the audiogram screen. The first step is to select a previously saved audiogram for the active session. An audiogram needs to be active in order to have targets displayed once we go into the real ear measurement screen. Click on the REM tab to go to the real ear measurement screen and select the pediatric aided response protocol. Choose the appropriate settings in the fitting prescription pop-up window when it appears. Ensure that the correct transducers are selected. The previously measured RECD values needs to be taken into account during the fitting. To do this, select a historical session from the drop-down list when the RECD was measured. On the right-hand side of the screen, right-click on RECD measured and then select Transfer to Current Session. Go back to the current session. The RECD values will now be available in the active REM session. Begin the verification process. Click on REAR and start the measurement. When this is done, the system will automatically go into the coupler mode as indicated by these images. If the levels need to be adjusted, click on the On Top Mode button. The On Top Mode button is useful as it allows the Affinity window to float on top of the Genie screen for easy comparison. Start with a level of 65 dB, then measure soft, loud, and MPO. Adjust in Genie if necessary so that the hearing aid frequency response matches the DSL targets. 
Finally, once all levels have been measured and the responses are matching the targets, the hearing instrument will be ready to fit to the child. Remember, if no measuring equipment is available or if lack of time is a concern, the easy RECD tool available in Sensei Pro is an alternative for measuring individual ear acoustics. With the easy RECD, no external equipment is necessary. Individual ear acoustics are taken into account by measuring directly using the child's ear mold and hearing instrument. For more information on the easy RECD, please visit the Oticon People First channel on YouTube.